Alright, hello, welcome back to another My Team episode. As you can see, we are heading to Italy, Ferrari's home turf, and we have a shocking retirement announcement because it appears that Fernando Alonso is yet again retiring from Formula One. That was quite a surprise considering it's the first season, but yeah, quite shocking. Plus, to add that we do have some new regulation changes for the aerodynamics and the powertrain so this is going to be quite interesting we've got 14 weeks remaining and we do have we need to save up our resource points to protect all of our upgrades so luckily it's only just for these two so it's not as bad but then it is bad but you know oh really you only got four things there so all right So, should be alright. So over time we're going to be making some... We're going to save the upgrades and probably resource points for next season, maybe. But the resource points that we do get in the meantime, we're going to use to keep these parts since there's new regs and then the rest we're just going to keep until the end of the season so yeah let's head to qualifying and i will see you there okay here we are then for qualifying around monza so this track is all about speed. It has a nickname known as the Temple of Speed. And literally most of the YouTubers have been running zero zero ring wing setup. Like, what the fuck? So, I thought to try it out. Literally. Zero zero, front wing, rear wing, aero, everything. Literally, here's the setup if you want. But yeah. I never tried this out before. Everyone seems to be trying it out. Apparently it is overpowered as shit. So I don't know. So I'm hoping it <laughs> I hope that the car will handle quite well. As in it won't snap, but you know. Let's go out on track and let's see what this setup is like. The two minutes remaining. So new rubber, new everything. we got to give all of our best in this lab. Oh god, there's already cars in the turn one. Of course there's Latifi. Caught me off guard there. Hopefully he'll get out of the way because... What is he gaining on him as he moves along to the left side? Which is very helpful, thank you very much. Hard on the brakes. Pretty good exit, gain full tenth. And this is the bit where we lost a lot of time. A little bit of a snap there. We are losing time from that, which is not ideal. We do make up the time though. Seven times up. We've got, I think, yeah, we've got Ricardo ahead with the slip thing which will help us. Round the final corner, almost a second up. What's this time going to be then? It's going to be enough for P6 so far. That was a pretty good lap. I tell you, yeah, that was a really good lap. I think this should be enough to get us out of Q1, surely. Alright, Charles Leclerc leading the way in pole position out of Q1 with George Russell, Lando Norris and Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas in the top five. Alex Albon makes it out of Q1, which is a surprise. We, our time was good enough for P9. Where are the Red Bulls? Because they are out of sight. Perez is out of Q1. 
I don't think he went for another time. And Carlos Sainz is out of Q1 as well. Max Verstappen put a time, which is only 16th fastest. Well then, our teammate is also out of qualifying. Daniel Ricciardo, Mick Schumacher, and Nicholas Latifi as well. Well then, that's actually quite a surprise. I didn't expect. I thought the Red Bulls were going to be putting times at the end, but clearly not. I think I didn't think they they went out, but anyway. Let's go to Q2 then. Alright, so we are for Q2 now. So far, pretty solid. As the drivers are now coming out on track. Get them back there, I think there's no stopping for us. But yeah, we just stayed in the garage until the last five minutes and everyone's gone out on track. What has cost us there, I think. Get a snap there. Yeah, it's not really good that. It was probably a bit of a shit idea to wait for five minutes, because then we had traffic for the mother though. Still might have a chance to do a good lap, but it depends really. Take it as much as possible. On the straight, what's this time going to be? It's going to be enough for P9. Well then. Alright, George Russell and Lewis Hamilton leading the way. It's a Mercedes 1 2 out of Q2. Max has actually put a lap this time and he's in the top 5. We're out of Q1, no, Q2. It was quite expected, really. Traffic held us up, but yeah. Not much said. Kevin Magnussen makes it into Q3. Pretty good. Alright. Alex Albon just missing out. Alright, let's get to the race. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix once again, here at the beloved and iconic Autodromo Nazionale di Monza. With the lowest downforce and drag of any circuit in the season, expect to see drivers making the most of the slipstream effect here today. With top speeds up to 215 and an average lap speed of around 155 miles per hour, Monza's reputation as one of the fastest circuits in the sport is well earned. We have 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with the best overtaking chance coming into the heavy braking zone of the Turn 1 chicane. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position. Edging out Lando Norris, he'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have... Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Lance Stroll and Joe. Surferboy, Russell, Magnussen and Sebastian Vettel. Sainz, Verstappen, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Oscar Piastri and Bottas. Perez, Sonoda, Alex Albon. They've taken a grid penalty. And Daniel Ricciardo. Ocon, Latifi, Mick Schumacher. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Lewis Hamilton rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Anthony Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. Now, can I get your take on Max Verstappen? That was a great win in the last race, but can they keep that momentum going into this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. Well done. 
with most of the grid taking grid penalties, we it, it moves us up into P7 and moves Oscar Piastri up into P13, which is really good. Lando Norris in second and Fernando Alonso in third. Never thought I'd see them two in the front row again. But yeah, crazy. So it's just going to be cloudy and then a bit of sun later on the end. We're going to do a one stop as usual. But yeah, we're going to be running zero zero wing and see how this runs out. I hope it's going to be simple. Hmm, yeah. All right, let's get underway then. The formation lap gets underway and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure that their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out. As the cars make their way back to the starting grid to form up and get ready for lights out, Let's hope the race ahead today is a thrilling one that will go down as a memorable Grand Prix in the history books. All right then, it's going to be an interesting race for us. Five red lights, and we are underway for the Italian Grand Prix. A pretty solid start from us. Joe getting away slowly. Meanwhile, George Russell getting away pretty wide. It's going to be three wide heading into turn one. We're going to go early in the brakes, tapping Gasly. It's three wide into turn. You get a warning for a collision with Gasly. We're side by side with Russell now. Gasly going a bit slowly. Hopefully we can make a move as we're going almost side by side. One tire on the grass. Can we send it down the inside on Lance Stroll? We're going for it and we do make it. Oh my god. Stroll and Gasly side by side. The door was open, Gasly took it. And we're up into P4. Oh my god. Okay, now stay alert. The you. What do you mean the start was okay? It was amazing! But look at the gap ahead of us. Lando Norris is leading the race. He got a pretty good start into turn one then. Having a bit of a moment there. To Ascari. Giving Gazi the chance now. Pass up on us. Yeah, Gatti is gaining well. Lando Norris in the fast lap. I mean, now Charles Leclerc now, side by side with Norris, thinking of taking the lead now. As you can see up ahead, Gatti is now thinking of sending it, and he does. He's going for it. Cover him off. One tire on the sausage curb. Charles Leclerc takes that lead back, and we just hold off P4 there. Gatti's going to put us. In a lot of pressure, I can tell. We've got to keep our head down and try and catch up to the pack up ahead for the podium spot. Guys, you thinking of going for it again? You only have to stop once now, one stop left. Window will be open in seven laps time. Look at this then, George Russell is literally gaining on us in that straight line speed. Oh my word. It's just about defending him off there. Alright, we'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in his strategy. And that's six laps until your pit window's open. Well done. Oh, Russ is thinking of making a move. He tries to hold back, but he will get DRS after this corner. And he is right behind us now.
Look how close he is. He's, he's staying back. But he might be just too far back. And he is, we go very deep. And that's cost us now. Russell gets past him. But Stappen has a 5 second time penalty. When was that? That is very surprising. I didn't expect Verstappen to get a penalty. We do have a full tank though. As here comes George Russell now. Well, I don't even know how many times. Six his nose. Couldn't make the move. He probably, if he sent it, he probably would have had a chance to get past us. But he's holding back. As I say that, he has that straight line speed. To redeploy our ERS. And we're just getting past. We're, no, we're not even getting past. We're already ahead. We're literally just covering them off. Look how quick Max Verstappen is gaining on us. George Russell with DRS. As here comes Max Verstappen now. Side by side with George Russell. Is it, is it going to be three wide? No, just not about. George Russell thought about it. Max Verstappen also thought about it. But the move couldn't be done. If there was more straight, possibly could have been three wide. But my oh my, we're in for a feisty battle. As our pit window is open, so we do have the box to slap. As we head into the pits now, we're going to box the slap. And it looks like the pit crew are out in the lane and ready to perform their magic on the car. They're going to be aiming to achieve the fastest pit stop time possible. Alright. The Pretty good start. It didn't look like Verstappen was taking his penalty there. So it doesn't look like it'll be until the end of the race. And we got very stone cold tyres. As usual when you come out of the pits. So this would take at least a lap to warm up. So our teammate Oscar Piastri in the pits now. Oscar is into the pit lane. Oscar in the pits. We've got our setup which is working well. We have ERS. Can we get past Sonoda? Yes, we can. But George Russell, I think that is. And the gap behind us is yeah, he did get past us. Five seconds. So, despite staying out, he managed to do the overcut. Pretty smart. And look at that lead in the minimap from Charles Leclerc. So he is very comfortable right now. Meanwhile, DRS coming up. Hopefully we can get past George Russell here. DRS and DRS. And look at the look at the straight line speed. Getting past George Russell very comfortably. Oh my god, this setup is actually OP. Okay, good work. Great but George Russell ain't gonna end it there without a fight. He's going side by side now. It's gonna be a little drag race to the final corner. Breaking just about at the same time, covering them off. But it's still side by side now. What race have we got here? Russell has DRS. We're not even enabling our ERS and we're still covering them off. Look at this! Getting a bit slidey at the end there. Just doing DRS distance. Meanwhile, Norris. Here comes Lando Norris on Fernando Alonso getting past. Pretty simplistic. Norris is holding off Alonso. 
which is slowing both of them down. And look, look how close we are now. We could possibly bag a P2 here as well if these not keep it on. We are literally draining the battery. But we are gaining on Fernando Alonso. Oh, we're thinking of making a move now. As we do, we send it. Nice work, mate. That brings you up a place. I wasn't even intending to make the move there. And now we're up into the podium spot. Onto lap 26, we get DRS. This looks like the chance that we can make the move. Lando going defensive. We are storming past Lando Norris now. But he's late on the brakes. He's thinking of making a... He's thinking of making a stick. Get a bit of a strappy exit. Science saying the fast that Alonso now joining the party now. Now seems to be my favourite word to say. We are pulling away. I never thought I'd be fighting for a podium spot this way. As here comes Fernando Alonso. Charles Leclerc setting the fast slap again, but this guy is on a different league right now. Here comes Lando Norris now, side by side. Oh my god. Are you thinking of making me down the inside? Here comes Fernando Alonso now. Lando taking back second place. Okay, focus. We need to stay on four. Okay. It is going to be very interesting as it goes three wide. Here comes Fernando Alonso though in second place. He calls both. We're fighting for it. Almost pushed him off the track. Look at this. Everyone's joining the party. We're having a drag race with the two-time champ. Fernando Alonso up into second. We're going to hold back. Oh, oh, are we? Look at this. Alonso, Norris, Verstappen, Russell, Magnussen joining the party. Oh my god. As you can see, around the final corner in the minimap, they came, they saw, they would enjoy this. And Tifosi would be going wild as Charles Leclerc wins in front of the home crowd and wins the Italian Grand Prix. Meanwhile, we're just about holding off Fernando Alonso. Jesus Christ. Verstappen getting past Norris. Who was in a podium position? Can Alonso hold off the charging bull of Max Verstappen? Look at the straight line speed of the Red Bull. Jesus Christ! Verstappen thinking of it. As we go around the final corner, an unexpected podium for us. As we're going to get second place, and Alonso is going to join us in the podium. We gain our first podium of the season. Oh my God! That's a fantastic performance from Ferrari. It hardly looked in doubt. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today, but what set them apart from the rest? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalize on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari. Let's have a quick look at how the driver standings have changed. Charles Leclerc, currently leading the championship standings, extends his lead even further with this result. Well, after an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he pulled off some impressive feats out on the track today, even by his standards. Let's move on to the constructors. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. 
Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.